Okay, so if you like me, you bought the high performance group, the 145 or the 160, and you haven't flown it in Microsoft 2024 yet, you may load into it in 2024, jump in, open the little iPad, and you get an activation code on it, or an activation check key is present. What this is, is a problem that each high performance group know about, and I'm going to go through the fix for it for um, if you've got add on linker. I know there's a couple of videos out there where they go through the fix where you do it for the community folder. I'm just going to go through it with the add on linker what you need to do. So, first things first is you're going to have to jump out of the same as 2024. Then what you need to do is you need to go to the High Performance Group website. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's pretty. It's highperformancegroup.com. Very first page on their website, you'll see read here for activation and install help for MS FS 2024. So click on that. Now, if you're coming from 2020, you can read the first step. And how to copy over files over to 2024. I'm actually doing a clean install into 2024, so I'm going to skip over one and two because I've downloaded the 145 into a clean folder. I don't need to copy it over from 2020, but you can read that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the step on how to activate in 2024. So first things first, we need to download a file from GitHub. So you just download that. And being that we're not going to do it in the community folder, we're going to do it in the folder that you have for add-on linker. Just download it to wherever your aircraft is already downloaded on your hard drive and on unzipped instead of into the community folder, okay? Once you've done that, we'll go to the folder that you've downloaded the aircraft into, the 145 or the 160. So we'll go to that folder. So here we are. I've downloaded it to a folder on my iDrive where I downloaded the aircraft as well and unzipped it. And in there, if you've got the aircraft and the action pack for the 145, you'll have two folders for the aircraft itself. And the action pack so now you downloaded the msfs layout generator from the github into the same folder okay what we need to do is we need to drag two files from the aircraft folder and the action pack folder over this generator exe fix them so they work in 2024 I've just done two folders side by side to make it easier. First one we'll do is we'll go into the aircraft folder and we'll look for the we'll look for the layout JSON. So we're in the aircraft folder. The 145, it'll be the same for the 160 as well. Drag that, drop it over this generator exe. And that's all you need to do in the aircraft folder. Back out to the root folder again. We'll go into the missions folder of the 145. Again, grab the JSON, the out JSON, drop it over the, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Grab the JSON folder, the layout JSON from the two folders that are in here, and drag them over the layout generator.exe, and we'll go back into. 2024 and the helicopter should be back working now just before i go back in this is if you're not using the community folder and you're like me you're using the add-ons linker when you're using the course if you, everybody that uses the add-on linker knows well that's not the files and folders aren't in the community folder they're out on your drive anybody that uses it knows what the add-on linker is so we've done that and we'll go back into the same We'll start to sim up and I'll pause it here and we'll get back into the helicopter. So 
with the magic of editing here we are back in the same in the helicopter in the same position last time we done this we got that error message click on the little ipad and there you go it's activated and working so hopefully that's helped anybody out there and again as i say this is just for really anybody that has the add-on linker any questions just as usual drop them in the comments below and i'll get back to you but for now we will chat to you later and see ya bye